All right, what's going on everyone out there on YouTube, NES Ruler, and welcome to a brand new review. And this time around, we'll be checking out a film that was sent to me to review by Blue Underground. Very excited to talk to you guys about this release, and that is the Toolbox Murders 4K. So, we did this film on the 22 Shots of Moods and Horrors about seven years ago, actually. We did this film first as the remake. So, you know, it was the first OG, first remake show that we did on the podcast. So it's been quite a while since I've watched this film. So I was kind of, you know, a little bit excited to go back to check it out because I really didn't remember too much about it. And that was the only time that I saw it. And, you know, this is a pretty, you know, well-known um, exploitation film. And so going back and watching this movie... I kind of forgot that, you know, in the first like 20 minutes of this movie is where they blow most of their of their gore load in this film. I mean, they pretty much murder everybody in the first 15 minutes of this movie. And then the rest of the film is pretty much just like a, a crime drama kind of movie, to be honest with you. Um, and it's kind of interesting that they decided to go that route, that they decided to just, you know, murder all these women in the beginning of the movie. And then pretty much just have the rest of the movie play out like, you know, cops trying to find out what's going on, f f tracking down the serial killer. It's interesting, but I feel like, you know, the f after the first 15 minutes of this movie, the rest of it is just like, it's fine. It's kind of mediocre, to be honest with you. But there's this one sequence with Cameron Mitchell in, um, in a bedroom, if you guys know what I'm talking about, if you've seen this. That's really, really fantastic. Uh, Cameron Mitchell really gives it all in his performance in that scene in this movie. It's definitely the highlight of the movie. He didn't really have to go that hardcore and give that good of a performance uh, in a movie like this. But, you know, he, he gives it his all. And it's a scene that really stands out. It's quite a lengthy scene, too. I think it's like seven to ten minutes long. And uh, he just gives some amazing, amazing uh, dialogue and emotion throughout that scene. It's really, really fantastic. It's probably, like I said, the highlight of this movie. Um, but besides that, the rest of it is just kind of paint-by-the-numbers um, uh, slasher, if you want to call it. But it's 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 not really a slasher because, you know, they, they slash everybody off in the first 15 minutes of the movie, and, and that's pretty much it. But, you know, for an early film from 77, you know, it... it it does enough things, you know, this is a year before Halloween, so it kind of paints the numbers a little bit. Um, the transfer on this, absolutely fantastic. Blue Underground always does an amazing, amazing job with the transfers. You know, I don't know if you can see above me, I have pretty much all my 4Ks. I've got some more over there, but I have every Blue Underground 4K, and um, all their transfers are absolutely fantastic. They all do Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos, so they always look and sound amazing. Um, a lot of 4K films don't have both of those options on a disc, so the fact that both of those are on every Blue Underground release really makes them stand out, especially in the um, boutique label realm. You know, not all the boutique labels do that. So that's what makes Blue Underground stand out, especially now that I just bought, you know, a pretty new TV that has uh, capabilities to do both of those. You really kind of uh, see the difference a little bit. So that's very cool. And if you guys have this edition... That Blue Underground put out um, a while ago. When is this edition from? 2010. This edition has quite a bit more features on it than this one. This one just has a commentary track and an interview with um, Marianne Walter. But this actually has a boatload, a boatload of new features on it. Got a new commentary track. Got some three new uh, interviews. And we got a um, another feature remembering Cameron Mitchell and then there's this really interesting um, video essay about this film about you know gender roles which you know I love and um, and how this film shaped the horror genre pretty much because of the way that you know they, they, they talk about what men do to women and things like that it's quite interesting it's quite a good uh, video essay and to see that on a release like the toolbox murders um, it's quite interesting so there's definitely more um, more reason why you should pick up this release compared to if you just have the old um, Blue Underground Blu-ray because there's a boatload, a boatload of new features on it. And like I said, 
It's just a two disc set. You got your Blu-ray. This is where all the features are on. The 4K only has um, the commentary tracks, but all the other features are on the uh, are on the Blu-ray. So just another really really high quality release from Blue Underground as always. Um, I hope they keep putting out 4Ks. I know they have a couple more lined up right now, but you know I'll always pick them up and um, hopefully review them for you guys as they come out. So. That is my review of the 1977 film, The Toolbox Murders. It's interesting. The first 15 minutes is pretty good. And one scene in the middle of the movie is really, really good. And then the rest of the film is pretty much average. Um, I know a lot of people really love this film. It's not a bad movie. You should check it out. I think it's worth a watch, you know, once if you haven't seen it, just because it's kind of an important film in the genre. So, um, if you give this one a six... Well, it's between a six and a six and a half, but I'm going to stick with a six on the uh, on the Toolbox Murders. But the release is really, really nice. Recommend you guys check this out from Blue Underground. So yeah, that is my release. That was my review of the Toolbox Murders. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. So always follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash NESRuler22. And please listen to the 22 Shots of Moods and Horror Podcasts. We have the top 10 of 2021 coming out pretty soon. So stay tuned to that. Thank you, everybody. Hope everybody has a good week. And we'll see you guys later. See you.